Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some people that need to quit their BS. Kanye West said, this was on my daughter's backpack when I was allowed to see her last week. This is why I go so hard for my family. I'm wired to protect my family at all costs. As the priest of my home, don't worry, Northy, God is still alive. Kim Kardashian said, please stop with this narrative. You were just here this morning picking up the kids for school. Is anyone else just like watching this dumpster fire of a situation between Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and just like not believing that this is happening? It's quite messy, eh? Like quite. According to the comments, I don't know what Kanye was talking about. What was on the backpack? Three enamel pins, one of Kim, one of a generic green alien face and one of Kanye. So this was the pic he was commenting on. Is he upset about the aliens? <laughs> I don't understand, what is he upset about? I literally don't know what's happening. Like I don't know what's happening and uh, frankly, I'm just a little bit overwhelmed with all the stuff that happens. Futurama actor John DiMaggio says he deserves more money to play Bender in the revival. John DiMaggio responds, nope, clickbait. <laughs> I swear, these like, these websites that try to like push you know, fan theories and stuff on you. All that stuff is under wraps. Directors are not going to reveal anything that's going on. Writers are not gonna reveal anything that's going on. The tips are just hearsay and they can publish it because it's like, Whatever, let's just get some clicks. They can just say, a source said. But that source could be literally no one. And this is why I'm not willing to get dragged into a heated debate over vaccines with you. There's a plethora of information out there, guys, if you are willing to do the research the way I did. Just for the record, I've done my master's in science epidemiology. I simply don't have time to sit and educate those who are so short-sighted and nasty. If that's the case, you might wanna update your LinkedIn profile. It's only showing your BA in music slash singing. <laughs> Excuse me, those are not your credentials. Last weekend, I went into an Atlanta coffee shop right after Ryan Reynolds had been there. The staff was so flustered they got my order wrong, but I'm Canadian, so I drank it. Curious if they got his order wrong too. Ryan Reynolds responds, I don't think they got my order wrong, partly because I always order a really simple black coffee but mainly because I wasn't in Atlanta. I love it. I love it when they chime in. I am a homeless woman that lives around NRG Park. Am I the a-hole? OP is also a neurologist, an astrophysicist at NASA, a male prostitute, Greg Abbott. <laughs> Y'all, they can see what other posts you write. Just FYI, just so you know. It's one click to find out what other posts you write. Uno clico. <laughs> I am so good at Spanish. I am fluent. Donde estas tequila? Donde estas baños? Donde estas hombres? <laughs> uh, I'm so bad at it that whenever I would say stuff like that, <laughs> every Mexican person would just laugh at my Spanish. They're like, oh, she's so cute. It's okay, PC. You start when you wanna start. There's nothing wrong with your hardware as the icons at the bottom are fine. Your wallpaper is the only one <laughs> up here. Who changes the wallpaper on their computer to look like the, the screen or the hardware is broken and then posts a photo of it on Reddit? Why? Why though? Why'd you do that? That's just silly. Silly goose. I hate when scammers don't do the smallest bit of research ahead of time. <laughs> they won't. What are the odds that you're the first spam bot I've found? Hello. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. Where are you from? USA. And you? Also the US. What state though? Columbus. And you? <laughs> Columbus isn't a state. You know, I actually had a scammer message me yesterday on my friend's account. It's someone that I actually have not spoken to in like 12 years. It's always the case. It's never someone that, that you've actually spoken to recently. It says, yo, I need your help. Can I forward my Instagram to your phone? I'm trying to log in on my computer and my phone is acting up. Can you help me and the back? This sounds like a scam. No. Nah. You can't like send it to someone else. Why are you sending it to me? I don't get it. I literally have not spoken to you in 10 years. Please, I choose you to send me receive it, please. 
can I forward it? No, dude, I'm not, I'm not clicking on anything. This sounds super weird. You are not clicking it, just send me a screenshot. Okay, how about you send me a photo of you holding a sign that says Nadine, that's her name. I'm busy at the moment, I do that later. I'm not doing it until I see that photo. Trust me, it's Nadine. Nadine, I think that you might have been hacked and that person never sent a photo. I'm getting good. Can't fool me. <laughs> Giant freaking robot tweeted, Bane is going to be part of the Peacemaker second season, likely as one of the primary antagonists. James Gunn responds, don't you know by now to make really sure of this stuff before posting? This is BS. No one knows what's coming but me and even I don't fully know. <laughs> I mean, there you go. There you go. They want the exclusive. The exclusive bullshit. <laughs> Everyone lies. You're all lying to me. This is the only reason I keep Facebook. After many years, me and my wife's Slytherin bedroom is complete. Wow, that is so cool and beautiful. It reminds me of this very photo. Wizards Harry Potter themed home. <laughs> Visual matches. Wow. You know, as a Slytherin, I really like that. Like a lot. Side note, we all know that you're, you're, you need to quit your BS, but like, that's very cool. Too bad it wasn't your idea. After 15 years, I flew across the US to meet my best friend for the first time. Thanks, Xbox Live. This is Jason Momoa and Channing Tatum. <laughs> that's not you. That is Jason Mimosa and Channing Tatum. No, his name is Jason Mimosa, okay? We call him Mimosa from now on. Order! What I say goes, this is my channel. Everything is about me. I am the sun. <laughs> Unless my best friend is around and she's a Leo, in which case she is the sun in that scenario. But right now, I am the sun. <laughs> Tech CEO tells story of developing his company's Super Bowl ad, then gets called out by the head of the agency that actually came up with the idea. Some folks asked for details of how our Super Bowl ad came to be here. Here's the quick backstory. We bought it not knowing what we would do. Initially, an outside agency pitched us a bunch of standard Super Bowl ad ideas. I didn't like any of them. Standard Super Bowl ads tend to be gimmicky, celebrity cameo driven, going for a laugh, etc. Side note, it never made sense to me why I should like a product because a famous person got paid to say they like it. So we went back and brainstormed, came up with a bunch of wild ideas. Some of these we will do down the road, but didn't have enough time to produce. Think Apple 1984, some native crypto stuff, etc. We shall prevail. We were running short of time a few weeks and one of the original ideas we had included putting a QR code at the end. This was partially inspired by Reddit's Superb Owl commercial at previous Super Bowl. Key insight was if you can only flash something on screen for a moment, people will Google it later. How do we get them from TV to phone to convert? So this was actually inspired by presentations our agency showed your team on 818 pages 19 to 24 and 107 pages 11, 18. I'm assuming that's the dates and the references with ad concepts for the Super Bowl with floating QR codes on a blank screen. That's embarrassing. Isn't it always fun when people take credit for your work? There's a lot of issues with that, isn't there? It's quite scary. Quite scary. People can just steal your stuff and steal your ideas and post about it on the internet. You stole my video and got more views, thanks YouTube. Nope, yours came out on the 20th of February, 2022. The video Fortnite Sussy Balls <laughs> came out April 28th, 2021. Do people not know that there's like dates? There's dates, timestamps, and Reddit. There is an entire Reddit thread dedicated to calling people out on their BS. If you're too lazy to call someone out on their BS, someone on Reddit will. My last two visits haven't been great. I picked a pizza order for a specific time, show up to pick it up, and they had forgotten to start it. So I had to wait 15 minutes. My last visit, I ordered a sub and asked for no tomatoes and still got tomatoes. When I came to just discuss my issue, the lady who answered was very rude about the situation, but acknowledged she messed up. Response from the owner. First off, as the owner, I apologize for your experience. However, when I was there today, when you called about your subs having tomatoes on it, and the girl who answered was not rude at all. She's a 17 year old high schooler who's always polite. She apologized for the mess up and offered you a credit. 
She may have been taken aback because you were dropping F-bombs at a high schooler because she accidentally put tomatoes on your sub. Nonetheless, she offered to fix it or give you a credit and you hung up on her. As always, we would be glad to take care of you given the opportunity. But those tomatoes though, the audacity of that child putting tomatoes on my sandwich that I can literally just pick off myself. Like even if she wasn't a high schooler, I just don't. Unless you've got like an allergy, which needs to be stated. Just pick it off, buddy. Just pick it off, it's not worth it. A couple of my friends, we went here to shoot a couple of pictures of some shoes for work. This sounds like an influencer. We ordered some food and when we got the shoes in, the lady there went real mean, telling us we can't shoot or do any commercial work there. Yes. That is because you kind of need a permit for those things. Since we couldn't shoot, we decided to just eat some food and spend time. We finished pretty quick so we could leave and get to work somewhere else, but as soon as the bill was paid, they were asking us to leave. Every two minutes of the 10 minutes we spent there after paying the bill, they kept pushing us to leave. 11 out of 10 wouldn't recommend. We do not allow commercial shoots on our property. This was informed to you as you walked in. We are a fine dining restaurant. You occupied a prime table for nearly 3.5 hours having three cups of coffee between six people for a bill amount of, <laughs> what is that, $3.47? We are not a coffee shop and we had a booking for that table. In spite of being informed many times, your group continued to linger at the table, prompting us to remind you repeatedly. I mean, I don't mean to stereotype, but y'all sound like influencers. Why can't I sit at an expensive restaurant and just order coffee and sit there for 3.5 hours? I would take my business elsewhere. You take your $2.50 and take it elsewhere, my dear. <laughs> You are gonna miss me as a customer. Am I? I'm not. I don't think I will. Sound more like a loiterer to me. Nice little loiter loiterer, loiterer, loiterer. Liar claims another person's surgery as their own gets called out, promptly deletes their post. This is my head after my last brain surgery. I had epilepsy for years and now I'm completely seizure free. Really? Because this was posted years ago by someone else. <laughs> Who lies about something like this? Looks like you got like a little iPod in your head. Side note, little side note there. My mother said that no one is going to share me because I'm having cancer. Can I have your amen here if you're not ashamed of me? So why did you have to steal a picture from the internet from 2015 and create a fake story for LinkedIn reach? Oh, that's embarrassing. LinkedIn is just Facebook for professionals. LinkedIn really is the new Facebook, isn't it? But like, if you're, End game, end goal is to be professional. Lying about having cancer is not the way to go. Alrighty guys, those were some people that need to quit their BS. Quit your b- Okay, I know who you. Subscribe!